In this tutorial, we are going to talk about panels or tabs. That's this area at the right side of 3D Studio Max. The first one being the Create tab, then Modify, then Hierarchy, then Motion, Display, and Utilities. In this case, we are going to talk about the Create tab. The Create tab has multiple subcategories, such as Geometry, Shapes, Slides, Cameras, Helpers, and so on and each of these icons here have a drop-down menu for example in the geometry tab under the create tab I have standard primitives and I have extended primitives I have compound objects and so on and so forth if I go back to my standard primitives I will see um, objects such as a box, sphere, you know, teapot, plane, tube, pyramid, so on and so forth if I change to extend the primitives, I will see uh, a different set of tools that I could use. In 3D Studio Max, in order to create a box, you need to click and drag in order to determine how big you want the base of the box to be. And then you let go and you just drag up or down until you have it with the size of your box. And then you can click. And that will create your box. One thing which is very important here to understand is that I'm still in box mode. I don't have my selection tool on, I don't have um, move, rotate or scale on, I have my box mode on. That means if I try to click to select this box, it won't work. All it will do is create an additional um, box and it will keep on doing that because I'm still in my box mode. Unless I go to, for example, one of these four tools or any other tool and now we'll be able to select them and delete them if I need to. You can view objects in multiple ways. You can view them in shaded mode. It tells me right here that I'm in shaded mode. And I could change that by pressing F3 on my keyboard. That will change it between shaded and wireframe. I can also have the object in shaded mode as well as edge faces. That will show me the edges on the box. So F4 will show or remove the uh, uh, the lines, the edges, and F3 is a toggle between shaded and wireframe. Um, if I wanted to create a box, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to start creating a new box. If I wanted to create a box um, with a certain specification, I could just create any box, and then I could go here and say, no, I want this box to be uh, one by one by one. Now. The measurement I'm using right now is meters. You could change these measurements if you wanted to. In order to do that, you would have to go to customize, preferences, sorry, no, customize unit setup. And then uh, over here, you can choose whether you want to use metric. And if you wanted to use metric, would you want to use millimeters, centimeters, meters, or kilometers? You could use, um, you know, US standards. You could use the uh, generic 3S Max units. In this case, I'm using metrics, but it's up to you what you use, really. <coughs> Um, once you create an object, if you want to modify this further on, you can go to the Modify tab and you will see the options over here. In the Modify tab, as you can see, I don't see these extra subcategories that I see in the Create tab. So I'm going to go to the Modify panel. And over here, if I wanted to change the length, I could say 1.5, 1.3, 0.5. And I could enter those numbers there. <coughs> What we also have, I'm actually going to change this back to 1, 1, and 1. Um, what I'm going to do now is add length segments. At this stage, in my shaded mode, if I start adding length segments or width segments or height segments, I will see no changes. This doesn't mean that nothing's happening. This just means that I'm not seeing what's happening. The reason is I'm in shaded mode. If I was to press F3 to go wireframe mode, I can see that these segments have actually added um, extra lines. Or what I could do, I could be in my shaded mode and I could press F4 to have shaded and edge faces on and then I'll be able to see the lines that I'm adding to, 3D Studio Max, to the object in 3D Studio Max. Different objects have different parameters. I'm going to delete this box and I'm going to create a sphere. A sphere doesn't really have heights, lengths, and widths. It has a radius. I could click and drag in order to create a sphere. A teapot also has a, uh, a radius. A plane 
has length and width but it does not have a height just go around and experiment with these and try to create as many shapes as you can um, so you understand how they work and just make sure once you have an object selected and you create a box for example uh, if you want to select the box you can't just select it while you're in box mode you will need to for example go to your move tool and select it first from through that